happy Sunday, guys. It's February 20th. I just uploaded my last week's vlog, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. By the time you see this, I hope you guys already watched it. If you didn't, what are you doing? Like I said last time. But guys, it's Desiree. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, please subscribe. I took a shower, put my sunscreen and face products on. I'm doing the laundry today, so I'm about to go buy some laundry detergent, some bleach, all that good stuff. My camera is acting up. Hold on. So I'm gonna go buy some bleach, some laundry detergent, all that good stuff, and then I'm gonna go drop the clothes off at the laundry. And I have a couple other things that I wanna do today. I know that um, I wanna get my eyebrows done because I wasn't able to get them done last week, and I, I mean, sorry, yesterday. And then I also want to do some, a little bit of food shopping. So I will see you guys when I see you guys. Bye. <laughs> all right, I stopped at Walgreens to get some laundry detergent. I'm going to go with the Tide. Lately I've been going with um, Arm & Hammer, but I'm going to try the Tide just to see if it does anything different. And then I'm going to get some beads, and normally I do get these ones. I know I'm not matching, but this is what I like to use. I'm also going to pick up some bleach, and then I'm going to... Can't take me anywhere. Hey guys, we made it to the charger. I am charging right now, watching my vlog on my Tesla. And I did the laundry already, dropped it off at the house, did some grocery shopping. I think I'm gonna get the green tea at Panera because there's a drive through right across from the charger. I've been craving it. Uh, so I'll get that after this and then we're gonna get our eyebrows done. I was trying to find a different eyebrow place, but nobody is open today. And this is the only day I can get them done because I work the rest of the week and other than I have a, I have a whole child. <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna go to the place in um, Salem, New Hampshire that I usually go to and get those done. And I will s probably be done after that. I have to pick the baby up around 6.30. So yeah, I think that's the only that's the only other things that I have to get done today. So I will see you guys soon when I am finished charging. Bye. All right, we are charged. I am definitely gonna get that green tea. There's no one in this drive-thru, so like, there's no way I can't get it, you know what I'm saying? All right. Hi, can I please do a medium ice green tea? A medium green tea? Did you do anything else? No, thanks. I'll have a turtle at the window. Thank, Thank you. you. I don't want nothing else. I just want that green tea. This sun is blinding me right now. Gotta make space. Hi. Hi. Yep. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. She had me put my card in the whatever. I just haven't had Panera's green tea. You should really try it. Honestly, I don't really like green tea in general. Well, it's not bad, but this doesn't really taste like real green tea, you know what I'm saying? So, don't think it's... Don't think that it tastes like straight up green tea, because it doesn't. It tastes... I don't know what it tastes like, but it's bomb. And I've been... Yeah, this shit is bomb, and I've been craving it. Alright. So yeah, we are going to get our eyebrows done finally. It has literally been like two months. So yeah, we're going to get them done. I really hope that she doesn't fuck them up because the reason why that it's been two months is because I've been trying to grow them out. So I really hope that 
they don't get fucked up again. But, yeah. I will probably see you guys when we are at the eyebrow place. Because I cannot concentrate <laughs> and drive right now. There is too much going on. So, I'll see you guys soon. Bye. Guys, there are no eyebrow places open. None. So, I am not getting my eyebrows done, I guess. I am just going to pick my baby up. He is on his way outside. He was at a birthday party, so um, his grandpa is bringing him outside right now. You guys haven't seen this before. This is my little car charm. Has all my pictures of my baby and my other baby. So I see them every day. <laughs> Here they are. <laughs> Yay! Inside. <laughs> Look at Destiny. Oh. My baby! Yay! I got my baby back. <laughs> I got my baby back. Yes, I do. <laughs> Good morning. It is Monday, February 21st. It's President's Day. The baby is watching TV right now. Let me actually pause it because I know you can't probably hear me. But the baby's watching TV right now. I need to clean up this house. It's an absolute mess. So um, I'm just going to pick some things up. Jay, say hi. See what I'm saying? His toys are literally everywhere. But we are just going to be cleaning today. Mommy was supposed to have a dentist appointment, but she had to cancel it because she has to get some work done. I also have um, an eyelash appointment at 2 o'clock today, so I'll bring you guys to that. But for now, I'm just going to be picking up and getting ready for the work week. You're special and you're reckless. Remember, you're my bestest friend. Yeah, she's my bestie. My love for you is endless Nobody else can end it And when I get the money back Then baby girl you can spend it uh -huh. And everything is alright I like how you doing alright, alright Like how you think alright Always on top of you Shut that blue my mind No distance I come by my side Everything is green over here oh, yeah. Everything you want and think about No, I got your back all the way And everything is alright I like how you doing alright, alright Like how you think alright Always on top of you
Chaka chaka mbana Chaka mbana Anything that you do now Everything that you do Everything that you do now Don't get for the scene, take her own trip. Guarantee it's for a bag and she walk in. She get to the cash when she walks. She look like a bag when she walks. She get to the cash when she walks. She look like a bag when she walks. Girl, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. Girl, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. Hey guys, it is. Tuesday, February 22nd, and we got our HelloFresh order. Also, I got, as you guys know, my lashes done. I just got home from work, so I still have my jacket on. And I <laughs> wanted to show you guys the order because it just had come in. But these are my lashes. I know I was supposed to show them to you yesterday, but it got crazy. But anyways, yes, this is our HelloFresh order. Kind of wanted to unbox it with you guys because I know that I'm going to be making something tonight. So comment down below if you'd like me to do kind of like a series of these HelloFresh things. But this is the box. So this is all for recycling. Seems like these are all the menu items. I am actually going to pick which one we're going to do tonight. And then I will see you guys when we start cooking. So we decided on going with the chicken bowls. And this is sour cream, hot sauce, cilantro. Here are, I'll kind of give you guys like a layout. So here are the ingredients. This is how it should look. And then this is the process. If you guys want to check it out or try it yourself. So we this is my first time trying HelloFresh, so I'm super excited. And I figured we would try it together, kind of see everything that I get, how easy it is to make and whatnot. So everything, all the meals that I bought are for two people, so two servings each meal. So supposedly this amount of rice should be, this is half a cup. So yeah, half a cup of rice and then like this line, this amount of cheese, this corn, like supposedly this should all be, actually, where's the chicken? Hold up. 10 ounces of chicken breast. Are you telling me this doesn't come with the chicken? Hold up. Oh wait, I think this is, you see, cause I thought this was a freezer bag, but I think this is all the meat. Oh, I was about to, yeah, <laughs> okay, it's the meat. I, okay, so this is all the meat for the week, for all the four meals that I got. Oh my god, I was about to throw a fit. I thought that these didn't come with chicken. So this is, I guess, enough chicken breast strips for two people. So this is 10 ounces. So I guess 5 ounces each. I can see how that's an actual serving. But then I have ground turkey, ground beef, and sirloin for the other meals. So stay tuned for those ones because I will definitely cook those with you guys as well. I'm going to put that in the fridge. I am actually super excited to try this meal out. Of course, my camera is dying and the baby is watching cartoons in the background, but I cannot wait to see how this comes out. So I want to bring you guys along. I just need to get my camera charger so I can plug you guys up somehow while I'm recording because I do guys want, I do want you guys to see like the whole process because I was excited about this. So let me go find my charger and then I will be right back. All right, we are plugged in and charging, so I am ready to get started. I am actually super excited. So let's kind of see what we need. I honestly haven't looked at any instructions, anything. So this is just, we're starting it together. Okay. So first things first, we have all of our ingredients and we're doing this for two people. So first you have to cook the rice in a small pot. One and one half cups of water for, for four servings. So we're going to do half of that. 
Alright, so that means we need about three-fourths of a cup of water since for four servings it's one and one-half cup of water and, and a pinch of salt. Okay. So we got the salt and the water. And honestly, this is not a lot of water. <laughs> I'm not used to making this little bit amount of rice, but so we got the salt and the water in the bowl. And we're going to let that get to a boil. So... I'm just going to put a lid on top of it, and we're going to let that get to a boil. So it says, bring that to a boil, and then cover it, reduce it, and low it to a simmer, and then put the rice in. Okay. Oh, they want us to put the rice for in the with. Okay, usually I wait until the rice is, usually I wait until the water is boiling, but they want us to put the rice and the water in at the same time. So we could do that. So the rice is in, and now we have to make our chili mayo. Quarter of a lime in a large bowl combine the mayonnaise, half of the chili powder, the juice from half of a lime, and season with salt and pepper. Okay, so I'm gonna grab a bowl. So we need the chili powder. It says in a large bowl combine half of the chili powder. And this says this is one tablespoon of chili powder. So we're going to put half of this. <laughs> All right, let's try and put half of this in here. All right, I'd say that's about half. We're going to put half of that. And then we're combining all of the mayo. This packet of mayo in that bowl. I feel like you guys probably want to watch. So let me let you guys All right, we got all the mayo in there. Now it says season with salt and pepper, so I'm assuming we are just putting as much as we want. It's supposed to be the chili mayo. But that's a lot of lime. Ooh, it tastes good though. So now that we have our mayo, it's saying that we need to char the corn. So we need to drain the corn. It's, so drain the corn, pat dry with paper towels. corn dry and warm up a little bit of oil in a skillet so I'm warming up the oil in a large pan now on high heat and then I'm gonna add the corn to the oil okay so we have we have the corn in the pot and then we also have the rice the jasmine rice in this pot boiling up so two steps done all right so we got the corn going and we're gonna cook this until it's golden brown once the corn is golden brown it's saying that it wants us to mix that into the mayo that we just made. So that sounds pretty good. So we're going to do that. Then, now it wants us to cook the chicken. Okay. I'm going to push this rice back. And put the chicken skillet on. The rice is at a boil right now, so I'm reducing it to a simmer. So it wants us to add a little bit of oil to the pan and it wants us to have it at medium heat and then add the chicken. Usually I season my meat before I put it in the pot and I let it sit for a while but this is saying put it in the pot and then put the seasoning so we're just going to go with it. 
chicken breast strips. And now we are going to add the remaining chili powder, Southwest powder. Then it says we're going to put a big pinch of salt. I'm just going to do what I would normally do. And then it says cook, stirring occasionally until the chicken is brown. Stir in stock concrete after. Okay, how the chicken looks right now after kind of just throwing the seasonings on top of it and it definitely looks like it needs some type of liquid so i'm assuming that's why it says to put the concentrate over it once it's browned so i'm gonna just stir this until it's brown i'm assuming that the stock concentrate is the juice that this needs because right now it looks like it needs some water so because once it's browned so four to six minutes, then you stir in the stock concentrate and add one fourth cup of water. Bring to a simmer and cook until saucy, two to three minutes. Okay, there's chicken on it, so I'm assuming that's the stock concentrate. So this is how it's looking right now. With the water in there um obviously i just want to make sure it thicken thickens and the seasoning gets in there the corn is over there is still cooking it says to cook it until it goes like golden brown so i'm going to leave it in there for a little bit and then like i said before i already put the rice on low so that is hopefully cooking as well so once the corn is finished it basically wants me to put it back into the bowl with the mayo and then put half of the cheese in there as well and salt and pepper and then the rest of the lime juice then then I'm basically gonna put everything together so I'm gonna cook this corn until it's all golden brown and then I will see you guys once I'm ready to mix it in Alright, this is all mixed up, so now, oh, we have to add the rest of the lime in here, actually. We're just waiting for the, white, the rice to um, finish up. It probably just needs a couple more minutes, and then we're just going to assemble both of our plates.
Good morning. It is Wednesday, February 23rd, and we are going to work. I know my camera cut off last night when I was trying to tell you guys something about the food, but so I personally think the food came out really good, but the amount of rice that they gave, like if you guys saw my boyfriend's bowl, that was all of the rice that they gave. Like obviously, I like I said, I'm not eating rice because... I'm on my diet but if I was eating rice I feel like that's not enough rice <laughs> I don't know I, I don't know maybe we eat too much but I just felt like that was not enough rice but it was good that he had both of his servings I woke up this morning and he ate all of his food so I'm assuming he liked it too I didn't get to ask him but I will ask him um, I will bring you guys along tonight when I make the next meal I don't know what I'm gonna pick but I'll let you guys know but for now we're going to go to work I kind of want a coffee, but I'm trying not to eat coffee. I mean, drink coffee as much. So I think I'm going to say no to a coffee this morning, sadly. So I got my water. Um, but yeah, we're on our way to work. Not going to charge today because I charged up yesterday. Just going to park in the front parking lot, go in there and get the day done. Yesterday went by super quick because I had so many meetings. So I'm hoping today is kind of like the same thing we will see well I'll let you guys know see you guys later bye good morning well actually good afternoon it is Friday February 25th and I know we missed yesterday but yesterday was a crazy day for your girl so I just had a lot going on but I did make one of the HelloFresh meals yesterday and it was the Caribbean um, beef bowl with the mango rice, mango cauliflower rice. I will insert a video um, below, but it is, it was really good, really, really good. I actually have no complaints. Today, as you can see, it is snowing. It has been snowing all day, and we are actually going to be making another meal tonight. That's all I'm going to be doing because once work is over I will make dinner and then since it's snowing me and the baby are just gonna have a cute little snow day in I will bring you guys along for dinner and yeah I just wanted to keep you guys posted so see you soon all right we got Mr. J eating some oranges here and then we have our HelloFresh here so this is the Bavette steak and shallot sauce it looks bomb to me. I don't know about the shallot sauce, but the steak looks good. I will be cooking it medium well. And I know my man loves some mashed potatoes. And then obviously I have to eat the veggies. So we have... What we have is... Six Yukon Gold potatoes. One red onion. We have green beans. This beef stock or beef concentrate. We have... Um, red wine vinegar sour cream and then this is the beef bavette sirloin it's 10 ounces of it this is all the ingredients that we need for the meal we got jay's orange over there <laughs> so yeah this is all the ingredients we need for the meal um it does not say to peel the potatoes it actually just wants us to let me see so dice them into small pieces and then Peel the shallot. Oh, so I guess that's shallot. <laughs> um, as well as make the mashed potatoes, roast the green beans, cook the steak. This is all of the instructions and everything that I'm going to be doing. So here you guys go if you guys want to try it yourself. But I'm going to dice these potatoes, dice the shallot, and then I will come back once that is done. So here is the potatoes cut into half inch pieces. And then here is half of the shallot cut up. It wanted us to save the other half for um, the rest of the meal. I have the water boiling, so as soon as that boils, I will put the potatoes in and I'll also add some salt. And then I will get the green beans ready, trim those, put them onto the tray, and get the pan out for the steak. So I will see you guys as soon as I have all these pans out. <laughs> we got our green beans washed. We're just going to put them in the air fryer now. I'm going to let them cook for a little bit and then I'm going to put some olive oil and salt and pepper on them 
And then I have our potatoes boiling here, our pan heating up for the steak. So let's get this steak popping. All right, we seasoned our steak with salt and pepper, and then we have it browning on both sides. So we're gonna do that for about five to seven minutes. Once it's good, we're gonna take it off, and then we're gonna make the shallot sauce. So I'm gonna let this cook. Once it's off and resting, we're gonna start on the shallot sauce, and I'll see you guys then. Our steaks are resting, and they look so good. They also smell so good. Right now, I'm starting on the shallot sauce, and that said to do it in the same. It said to do it in the same pan as the steak that you just cooked. So I am letting these simmer, letting them get soft, and then I'm going to add half of this vinegar as well as the stock concentrate that they gave us and one fourth cup of water. I have dropped the vinegar all over the floor, yay me. But we have the vinegar in there, the stock concentrate and the water. We have to let this thicken for about 30 seconds before we add the sour cream. Once we add that, we're gonna add a tablespoon of butter and then season it with salt. And I will see you once I pick up this vinegar off the floor. All right, our potatoes are done. Our shallot sauce is thickening right now and our steak is cut against the grain. So I'm gonna get this plate ready. Let's see when it is done in three, two, one. Good morning, guys. It is Saturday, February 26th. I just filmed my Olaplex routine, so you guys can stay tuned for that. It should be coming out in the next day or two. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to close out this vlog for this week because I don't know what I'm going to do today, right? It snowed yesterday. Uh, I'm probably just going to cook some food. I might run some errands, and if I do, I'll start next week's vlog. But just wanted to close this one out and just say that I will see you guys next week. If you haven't already, please like, comment, subscribe. Thank you for watching again, and it's Desiree.